Hi guys, welcome back to the B Word and I just want to start off this video by thanking you guys so much for checking out my first video. I got a lot of response and some feedback that y'all are working on. Y'all are some tough critics out here but <laughs> no, it's definitely helping me out a lot. And one thing that I got from a lot of people was people want to find out just kind of the direction that this channel is going in. And I feel like you guys must just watch and see but y'all ain't taking that. So for those of you who really want to know, just click on the title, the description box will pop up and I'll have everything there for you. You know, just kind of what you can expect from the B word. Having said that, this is not what this video is about. Today I'm talking auditions. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad and the ugly. So what kind of inspired this was an audition I had recently, just a couple of days ago actually, where I took two taxis, a car train, a taxify and waited two hours just for less than five minutes in the audition room and did I kill it no it was very bad it was it was very very bad okay Shane it wasn't that bad but yeah no, I've had way better but I thought you know what let me kind of share my experience with you guys so this was my first audition after graduation and auditions are kind of like for actors what job interviews are for everyone else so um, I got a brief or a casting call for a sitcom and I was like yes I'm ready I'm gonna go kill it <laughs> y'all ain't ready for this and I read it and but one thing that you actually need to know as a South African black actor specifically y'all need to be fluent in at least one South African language you know Sutu, Zulu whatever it is you need to know that because that's the language of the people if you look at the channels you know you need to be able we're telling those stories so we need to be able to speak to them in their language as well now for me mother neck it's like you know it's, it's okay okay no shame it's fine you know it's not non-existent or bad but it's also not on fleek or where it should be so when i did like casting calls and stuff I really like I prep myself I translate I practice until it's I'm comfortable with it so that's exactly oops my notes fell so that's exactly what I did with this one I practiced you know my mom helped me out shout out to you mom shout out and I was really confident I was like okay cool I got this so basically I arrive and I'm sitting and it's about my turn to go in I'm a little bit nervous but you know they say use your nerves when you go into auditions so I'm like cool Right, it's my turn, I go in and I meet the casting directors, it's a guy and a girl and the guy's really nice, giving me energy, we're having a bit of a conversation. The girl, I can see it's been a long day, maybe a little bit irritable, but I'm like, fine, cool, let that not affect the performance. So, we're waiting for the camera operator to come back in to the room, so they're like, just go for it now, you know, we won't record it, let's just see what you've got. So I'm like, okay, and I do the monologue. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you. So we had two scenes that we can pick from and the one scene had like just a little bit of like it was really short and didn't have much in terms of the character and the other one was this really nice monologue so I chose to do that one and the guy was like kind of impressed they're like oh you're the first person to do the monologue today hmm so I'm like yes check setting myself apart and if I kill this ooh, standing out kind of because you know you want to be on camera as long as possible but you also want to make sure that you set yourself apart from everyone else. So I do the monologue, no? and yeah, it's good. Now nah, I say it, Brr, standard procedure. And then, so the guy's like, yes, you know, I really like it. I like, you know, you're the first person to kind of understand what a comma and a full stop is. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> cool. And the girl's like, mm. so like, can you just do it in English for me? I just want to get the essence of the character. And I feel like I can just see that best if you do it in English. And I'm like, Hmm? What? And she's like, I'm like, no, but I, I, I prepped it in Sutu because, you know, the channel is Sutu and, you know, you need to speak the language of the people. And she's like, no, English. And I'm like, yo, now you would understand my frustration because the thing is, like, when you translate something, you don't translate it word for word in another language from English to another language. It's not translated word for word because then it doesn't make sense, you know? And in Sutu, sometimes it's a lot longer or there are different words used to, they aren't like, that's what, you can't, yeah, that word doesn't exist in Sutu, so you gotta use some other words. So the English version of this, I didn't really know it. As, yeah, 
I didn't really, I just knew my version of it. But I'm like, you know what? <laughs> let me do it. I, I, let. yeah, guys, no. It was, I started off and I was good. And then like the second quarter of the monologue, I was, I stumbled a bit. And then you can see the guy's face. It's like, hmm. And then, you know, just from that point onwards, everything went downhill. And, you know, girl went blank searching for words, improv, now it's a whole different script and <laughs> okay shame, I think I'm exaggerating a little bit but yeah, no, it wasn't good and I think the worst thing for someone who's performing is that when you can see the journey of your failure mapped out on somebody else's face I mean you can just never come back from that, I'm still having flashbacks to this day I can see him going from nice to okay till the end where it's just like Thank you. Oh, guys! <laughs> but yeah, um, that was definitely an experience. I think in hindsight, I definitely should have just been like, yo, can I please have like five minutes just to go through it? Because I prepped it in Sutu, so now English, just to get familiar with the text and like just to play around with it a little and then I'll come back through. But like they say, actors, we all go in for a job, but we all come out with a lesson. Whether you get it or not, you're going to learn something. So just some tips and tricks that I got for you guys from this one specifically is that number one, you all need confidence. You need to be confident. Okay, if, even if you don't, if you even if you're not confident, fake it till you make it. Number two, you gotta let it go. Once you're out of that audition room, leave it in there. Leave what you did there. They'll see. The casting directors will see whether they liked it or what you gave. But you gotta leave it. Don't think about it because you just go home and torture yourself. I'm still learning how to do that, but yeah, no, that's definitely imperative. And the third one, what is the third one? Oh yeah, the third one is actually the most important one. Never stop going, guys. Never stop going. You're gonna hear no a lot. Rejection is part of the job, but you gotta keep on keeping on. If this is your passion, if this is you believe that you need to be doing, if this is what fuels you, you gotta keep on doing it. And in those that pool of no's, all you need is that one yes. All you need is that one yes. So yeah, I mean, I've got a lot more stories like this where that came from. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments. Let's chat. Who knows? Maybe I can like do a kind of a series, invite a couple of other people to share their experiences and stuff like that. Yeah, let me know what you think, give it a like, subscribe, tell your friends. And yeah, guys, let's join the family, let's make it bigger. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know what that was.